Hi folks, I just wanted to give everybody an update. I posted a video yesterday on a letter that the state of New Jersey sent to Judge Renee Baum of the U.S. District Court for New Jersey, federal judge in two uh, big cases that are pending before her court. Right after I posted the video, within probably an hour or two, I saw comments that, hey, she already responded. So if you've read some of these comments, you've already, you know what I'm talking about, but I just wanted to make this quick video for the people that haven't seen those comments or aren't aware that Judge Bum actually did respond to the state of New Jersey's letter. Uh, there are two cases, the Coons matter and the Siegel matter. These two cases now consolidated into one are the result. There are multiple lawsuits, I'm told, but these two cases are very important. They're very big and they are the result of Governor Murphy's new anti-carry or sensitive place law he signed in December of 2022. This was in response to Bruin, the Nyserpa versus Bruin decision. Governor Murphy and a lot of uh, politicians have decided based on the Bruin decision, they're going to take matters into their own hands and they're going to create basically governor murphy has declared new, pretty much all of new jersey a sensitive area or a sensitive zone in reference to carrying firearms pretty much the entire state is off limits unless you're an active duty police officer or law enforcement or retired in some capacity if you qualify under certain conditions so these two cases are important because judge renee bum has already issued tro's temporary restraining orders on the challenged locations in this new law that these two lawsuits have brought forward. So she's issued these TROs saying, all right, New Jersey, until the preliminary injunction, you cannot enforce these parts of the challenge sensitive area law. What's been happening is both parties have been submitting briefs and documents and affidavits to the court. And you can follow all this on Court Listener if you sign up uh, with this docket number. You get the alerts like I do. It's very interesting to read this stuff. But basically, New Jersey has decided to send a letter to Judge Bum, in my opinion, threatening her, trying to intimidate her to speed up her timeline. They sent this letter, and you should watch the, my video, and I, I go into it in more, a little more detail. But basically, the state of New Jersey has decided to say, hey, Judge Bum, if you don't speed this up, we're going to file an appeal on the TROs. Now, they even put in the letter, typically you don't appeal a TRO because it is a temporary order pending the outcome or the decision or final determination of the case, whether it be a lawsuit or a domestic violence, whatever the case may be, when a final determination is made by the court or by the judge, then the TRO either becomes a final restraining order or a final uh, injunction. New Jersey has decided to say that we're going to, if you don't speed this up, judge, we're going to file a uh, an appeal. And they quoted case law. So I mentioned, you know, they're trying to intimidate in school a federal judge. I didn't think it was going to go well. I mean, if you ask me, I'm not an attorney, but if you ask me, hey, what do you think about trying to intimidate a federal judge, especially a judge on your case that hasn't ruled in your favor so far, especially on your case that's still pending, I would say it's probably not a good idea. She responded and you can pull this up on Court Listener. I'll put a link to it and you can read it. I'll just go through parts of it. But basically Judge Bum said the court makes these observations. First, both parties agreed to this timeline. And she's also saying the court has since received over 2,000 pages of briefing from both parties. So she's saying there's a lot of information to go through. And based on this, based on the fact that New Jersey has agreed to this and, and the copious amount of documents that have been submitted to the court, she's saying that this led the court to believe that good cause existed to extend the duration of the TRO, TROs, as, they, as there's two of them, throughout the preliminary injunction phase of the litigation. So she's saying, you know, you agreed to this and that led the court to believe that you were okay with these TROs being extended beyond what they typically would be. And now it seems that you, New Jersey, have decided to alter the course that you agreed with plaintiffs and also altered and different from what you represented to the court. So she's saying, you led me to believe this and now you're doing something different. Uh, she's going to hold motions for a preliminary injunction on March 17th to address several issues that the defendants, New Jersey, did not sufficiently address in their brief. So she's not happy with what New Jersey has submitted so far, and she's going to address those issues on the 17th of March. So we'll all be waiting for that, of course. Then she ends this text order saying that if you do, New Jersey, if you do file the appeal and the appeal is taken by the, the court, then a determination will have to be made regarding jurisdiction, whether 
whether or not the case remains in her court or goes to another court. Very interesting. Uh, Judge Baum clearly is not happy with this. And, you know, we all could have predicted this if you read that letter and you see that New Jersey, a good thing will never come out of trying to intimidate or threaten a federal judge who has your case pending and who so far has not ruled in your favor. So we will see what happens next. We'll all be waiting for the 17th to see how Judge Bum responds to the state of New Jersey. And uh, I'll try to keep everybody posted. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on these issues. They're obviously changing rapidly. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.